Hi everyone. It's the, my second, my first real video which I'm going to do today and I'm going to do about how I got into karting. And basically, when I was younger, my dad had the occasional Formula One on from when I can remember because I remember the first, one of the first times was David Coulthard winning in the McLaren and it stuck with me and I thought if anyone can do it I thought why shouldn't I have a go <laughs> and yeah so my dad took me down to the local kart track which was in Letchworth about 20 odd minutes away from where we are and first time I got in a kart don't really remember much but I do remember my dad beat me but then the more we went along, I was just beating him more and more. And it wasn't just by a few seconds. It was when it got to a point where I was beating him more than 10 seconds or something like that. I remember my dad thinking, maybe at some point to have a go at an outdoor. But I knew because... My sister was trying to make it as a professional horse athlete at the same time. So, at that point, it was more of a... She's got a bit more talent. I hate saying that. Because, naturally, <laughs> um, she was trying it. and But, yeah, I was still going to let Earth every time I could with Dad. Trying to hone my skills. And then, I remember as well, in amongst some casting sessions I remember one year we went to Paphos in Greece I think I was maybe eight or nine or so and I remember <laughs> giving giving my dad a fright during a, a go-kart session because literally the guys they um they gave me a helmet and um it literally almost it kind of fitted but it was very loose and um, um, it came, I was going down a straight and it just, the helmet just came off and uh, I remember my dad um, going around a corner and just seeing the helmet and it was like, oh my god, but yeah, um, gave him a fright but obviously when he saw me in the pits he was like, yes. But yeah, so growing up, I was, um, apart from Letchworth, I eventually got to the point where I could do a few sessions at Rye House for Rye and Drive. Really enjoyed it. And then um, when I was maybe 14, 15, it was starting to get to a point where I was taking football a bit more seriously at that point as well. And I thought, if I give football a few more years, because at that point, not only was I playing at, it wasn't like a real academy, but it was an academy football of different groups at that point. And yeah, I wanted to give the football a real go. And I had a few trials here and there, like one was with Potter's Bar when I was 16, 17. And then eventually even though I don't really want to talk about football in this but yeah when I was 18 I ended up playing for St Albans Rangers under 18 whites I did a full year really enjoyed that but yeah away from football at that point it was still an occasional arrive and drive at Letchworth Rye House and then I got to the point at the end of that football season I started taking motorsport more seriously because I knew realistically I wasn't going to make it as a footballer. Even if I've gone into the non-league or whatever, I wasn't going to get beyond that because I had ability on the ball to distribute, but I just didn't have the fitness levels at all. Because I remember one year, no, it was just before the start of that season, I ended up damaging... Um, not properly, but just damaging a tendon in my ankle, 
and I kept doing tendons every every football season so it just got to a point where I just couldn't continue with that but yeah so when I was 18 as well in amongst the football season we were taken a bit more seriously at Rye House with the CSMA North London Carson region and we were going there and we went to Wilton Mill as well which I really enjoyed and at I remember going to Red Lodge at some point. It was only once or twice though. And yeah, it was like my dad just couldn't keep up. And I remember in really enjoying that casting season with uh, the CSMA. It was real fun. I wasn't really near the front, but I had a really good result of like, I think it was fifth in the end. Or it was between... Yeah, it must have been fifth. Anyway, I just thought, if I really want to make a career, well, it's not really a career, as we all know. It's more of a hobby. But if I wanted to take motorsport seriously, I knew getting out of karting was a real step. I knew we weren't ever going to have budget available to get up into the higher reaches of karting just because money was as I said was helping more towards my sister at that point as she was getting herself really high up in the horse world anyway so yeah when I just love my karting even if it was just an arrive and drive and um, it got to a few points where I had a podium at an arrival drive session. And I was... Anyone who know, has known me has, has known that I've always struggled to keep the weight down, particularly. But, yeah, it got to a point where if I can get a podium at an arrival drive, being one of the heavier drivers, and then all of a sudden I ended up winning one session... Really enjoyed it. I just like got to the point of if a heavier driver obviously can get on the podium or something like that, you start getting to the point where you think, can you do it? And it seriously just got to the point of, yeah, there's a chance. Although weight is a lot in motorsport. But yeah first one done happy i hope you guys like listening to that to this first one